Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome um, representatives from Lamar Men's Basketball, Head Coach Tick Price, and Student Athletes Avery Sullivan and Davion Buster. I'm going to ask Coach Price to start with an opening comment, please, and then uh, we'll open the floor to questions. We, we, today, we played against a very tough Sam Houston State team. Uh, not all kids. He's an NBA caliber player. He's just it's good enough that he can probably play on the next level. Uh, they're well coached. Um, Coach Hooten has built a, uh, a culture there with toughness. Uh, but I thought our kids uh, matched their toughness today. Um, that was the key for us. We, we played with grit. We played with moxie. We played with course savvy. Um, the games we played with bronze. Um, and the day one of the songs survived, and we were able to um, finish the game off with two free throws by him. So he made the first one. We knew if he missed the second, they didn't have time to uh, run an inbound play. And so at the end of the day, uh, we did all the grunt things to win the basketball game. Okay, thank you. Um, first question is from Hadari. Hadari, you can uh, mute your line, please. Absolutely. Uh, Adar Jones, the Garage Department Media. Congratulations, Coach. Um, you guys are the first team this tourney to to win after playing the night before. Um, how how did you get your team ready to uh, pull off the upset tonight? Well, we were very conscious of um, keeping them off their feet today. We, we had a film session. Uh, Went over scouting report. There's some familiarity between the two teams. We played each other twice. The two coaches know each other in our systems. Uh, our players were well versed of what got us beat the last two times. Uh, our kids uh, knew the scouting report very well. We knew uh, not all would, would cause problems for us, and we knew Lampley could be a problem. I thought for the most part, we did a good job on Lampley. Uh, we start trapping that all, but he got in the rhythm, got on the floor, and knocked down some big shots. Uh, but although we got beat on the boards pretty good, I thought our guys uh, kept their course and composure. I thought that was a big key in this game. Next question is from Erica Jones. Erica, you may mute your line. Actually, it's uh, sorry, it has a different thing, but it's Kamal Jones, Garage Department. Uh, Coach, this is a question for Coach. Uh, defense seemed like it was a, a premium in this game. Uh, Sam Houston made a couple of runs at the end of the half and a little bit in the uh, middle of the second half, but you were able to hold them off uh, in the at the end. Could you just describe the what your your uh, I'm sorry your adjustments? to make it so difficult for them to score in the second half? Well, we wanted to bring ball pressure in the very beginning of the game. Ball pressure, shot pressure was a big key uh, for us. Uh, and then that all got going, and then we tried to trap him to get the ball out of his hands. Uh, but he's a, a, an elite player. But uh, I thought our kids did a good job. We talked. We, uh, we talk about talking on the court, gives us a six man, so to speak, and also it energizes each guy. And I thought uh, we did a good job of communicating on plays, when to switch, when to hedge, uh, when to go under. Avery, uh, especially, and David uh, did a good job of letting our guards know where the screens were coming from. That's a big key in, in playing defense effort, energy, intensity, but you got to communicate to make sure everybody's on, uh, on point with uh, guarding the ball screens. And I thought uh, we did a pretty good job in, in doing so. Next question is from Matt Fay for Avery. Uh, Matt, you may unmute your line. Hey, Avery. Um, you know, I, I just my question is about those uh, the final play and then the last uh, free throw that you hit. Kind of take me through that last play. What what you saw uh, once the the ball was coming your way, and then uh, what was going through your mind? Uh, you know, on the free throw line there when you hit it. 
you know, we knew we wanted to take the last shot. And I got to give it to my teammate, Anderson Cobb, for really making a great play for driving and dumping it down to me to get me open. And then after that, I just tried to go up, and the ref ended up giving us a foul. And the rest is history. You have a follow up, Matt? Or is that good? Yeah, I mean, and then just, you know, you, you hit the free throw and then, you know, after the heave and it's kind of just a celebration on the court. What did that moment feel like to, the, you know, after that long battle that you guys had finally come on top? It just felt like, you know, all your hard work and we were grinding out the whole game. It's just like, got the job done this game. Next question is from John. Go ahead and unmute your line. Thanks, Matty. Uh, Coach, just wanted to know about the next game against Abilene. Uh, I believe they swept you this year by 15-plus points each time. Is it just because they're a great team, or do they do they pose a specific matchup problem for your team or something else? No, they are a very good basketball team. Um, they uh, experience, uh, they play, their staple is their defense. Uh, they're well coached. Uh, another culture that's been uh, built at Abilene Christian. They got a winning culture there. Uh, they execute well in half court. Uh, it's another puzzle to be solved. <laughs> it doesn't get any easier. You know, you went up, you went up against a good team, Sam Houston team, and it rewards play Abilene Christian. Uh, but our kids, uh, I think we, we're playing uh, good basketball right now. And we'll approach this the same way in our preparations. We get our rest. We look at film. We look at what we did wrong uh, when we played them the last couple of times. And we see if we can make some adjustments and hope that our players will follow the game plan. Once the ball go up, uh, that jump ball go up, the game can go either way. You don't even know how it's going to go. Uh, you just hope that your hard work will prevail uh, after that 40-minute period is over. The next question is for Davion from Gamal. Gamal, go ahead and unmute your line. Uh, Davion, it seems like uh, the team really feeds off your energy, especially in the offensive end. Just want you to describe what you were feeling out there and what you were seeing out there to really uh, pick up your team's energy and make sure y'all stay focused to get this win. Uh, I just want to stay positive and keep my energy up the whole time. Cause I knew, like, once my energy was high, everybody's energy was gonna get high. It's the same thing for me. If Avery's energy is high, my energy is gonna be the same way. Like, we all lift each other up, so we feed off each other, and that helps us. I have time for one more question, Brandon. May I mute your line? Um, Coach, uh, were you surprised at how uh, your team was able to stay on pace with Sam Houston? You know, especially in the first half when it was more of a running gun style compared to the fact that you guys are more of a uh, you know clock you know clock watching tempo. I'm not surprised at anything you guys do. Um, I've been with these two guys three and four years. So what happens uh, doesn't surprise me. Um, we're a team that like to play uh, up tempo basketball. We run plays in transition. Um, their team does the same thing. It just came down to who executed well in transition. Um, both teams did a good job, and, and it really came down to um, the reads. Um, and I thought that you know both teams did a good job. We just came out on top today. Um, that team has had our numbers both times we played them during the regular season. But there's an old adage, it's hard to beat a team three times. And uh, we felt like we had just as much right uh, to win this game as they did. So a kid came out in 4-4. Four, four. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.